this up, it's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're literally in the middle of nowhere here in California for a very important reason. It's this car right here. This is the all new 2022 Porsche Taycan Sport Turismo GTS. But before we get into this electrified performance wagon, let's talk about what's going on here, Porsche. They've been doing the business for so many decades. Dr. Ferdinand Porsche starting this car company and really evolving it just like their lineup. Now, of course, as many manufacturers are going towards electrification, almost two years ago, Porsche came out with their very first Taycan. It was an electrified sedan, still in production, but you know what? Now there's different variants of it, especially when you want something unique like the Sport Turismo. Sport Turismo is gonna bring that flexibility and versatility of a wagon, but still that performance. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, I know about the GT3 and the GT3 RS. What does GTS mean? Well, with GTS being on this Taycan Sport Turismo, what it means, it stands for Gran Turismo Sport. First was used all the way back in 1963 on the Porsche 904. Fast forward to 2010, first appeared on a 911, and the rest is history, as they say, now being added to the full lineup with the introduction of the Taycan GTS. Now you can get this still as a GTS sedan. We are lucky enough to be here for the debut of the Wagon Sport Turismo. But what I want to find out is there is starting to become lots of choices when you're looking specifically for a performance EV. Is this the one to buy? Is this the best one? Is this the ultimate one, especially with the Sport Turismo wagon shape and now with all the goodies that the GTS brings. So let's go ahead, let's dive into our classic Guards Red Taycan Sport Turismo GTS and find out, is it the one you should be buying the best one over Tesla, even over their sister Audi brand? Let's find out. Right off the bat, what's great about the GTS, a lot of unique aesthetic features. All starts at the front of the business. You're gonna get this headlight design, which looks similar to the other Taycans, but what's great is it's all blacked out on the interior, but that's just a start. You kind of drop down on the corner here. You have these corner vents that are functional and larger than your standard Taycan to channel that air down the side of the vehicle, hence the name side air curtain. They even kind of brought some concave shape to the whole front of the nose. And as we come across the front, you'll notice that Euro plate. This is a German spec pre-production model, but Porsche wanted to make sure that you guys at home here on Rady's Rides was able to see it first. So we're okay with that, especially the Guards Red. Now, one of my favorite parts of any Taycan is this lower portion with the massive splitter, flat black, that's gonna stop air from going underneath our Taycan to create lift. What it's gonna do is it stops that air and it's gonna give us downforce. Like the way they brought all that racing heritage into this EV. Now, as you come across that front, you get up onto the hood, traditional, clean, German body style. You do have, of course, that badge that represents so much about Porsche, including its home, Stuttgart, Germany, still the birthplace of Porsche. Coming around the bend, get ready for wheels and tires. Now, for a long, long time, cars like Tesla, you know, different EVs, the wheels were very boring, very bland. Check out what we have. These are the optional 21 inch RS spider wheels. Forged wheels means that it's a lighter wheel, stronger wheel, and I love the satin black finish. You have those massive banana yellow calipers. That signifies we have the carbon ceramic brake package. It's an optional package. You are gonna clamp down those rotors and make some banana splits very quickly over 16 inches in diameter. This is Formula One technology on a street going car. You compare this to Tesla, this is what Porsche is bringing to the EVs. We got full adaptive dampers, all four corners, and air suspension to where you can lower and raise your Taycan GTS. Even the way they did the smoked out clear 
signals on the side with the LED lighting really shows that attention to detail. And of course, you are getting full regen braking. Now, if you're comparing this to a turbo or a turbo S Taycan, you do get dual motors, one motor up front, one motor at the rear. The great news is it actually takes the motor from the Taycan turbo and uses it at the tail end of the business. But we'll get to that in a second. Coming down the side, you got, of course, your charge port door with a very stylish addition added to it. GTS is gonna give you specific, these lower sills with the GTS badging, even the way that they did the flush door handles, shows that dedication to aerodynamic efficiency. Color match on the mirror caps, love the silhouette of this car. This makes a wagon so sexy from front to back. The rear quarter window looks like a 911. This greenhouse, here looks like a 911 nice flared fender and when we look at the tail in the business here check out the 305 305 on the rear width you're still getting a four piston banana yellow caliper out there and then coming around the back this is where it just continues you get a gts specific low roof spoiler we're going to have to zonk the wiper that needs to go be tucked underneath especially to keep this aerodynamic efficiency Keeping with the blackout design, you do get the Tycon GTS badging all in black. Love the way they do the circuitry board underneath that lights up at night. Of course, all LED lighting. And then dropping it like it's hot, I want to show you this rear diffuser, especially on the corner. Look how far it comes down. This is specific to the GTS. Flat black with a little bit of gloss black. Dual motor setup to get that all-wheel drive acceleration. But let's go ahead Let's talk about performance numbers of this GTS. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Porsche Taycan Sport Turismo GTS. I almost have to think about it for a second. I like to just call it the Taycan GTS. But anyways, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, how much is this one? Well, before I give you the price, this portion of the review is going to be a little quicker. If you want more of the details, we do have it in the first walk around review that we did. I will leave that one at the end of this video if you want to see more detailed information. But here's the pricing. MSRP for the Sport Turismo GTS starts at $133,000. This one is optioned up to around $180,000. But before we say those famous words, let's talk about performance. Dual motor setup. On overboost, you're looking at 590 horsepower. 590 horsepower, same amount of torque as a Taycan Turbo. So that's 626 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna blaze by at 11.2 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles an hour. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what about weight? You're looking at it a little over 5,000 pounds, but now it's that time to the door panels. Let's see what we're getting. You go GTS, you're getting carbon fiber, you're getting leather, you're getting that red contrast stitching, looking really good. I love the way they work the trim into the door handle, three memory seat settings, and a sexy armrest, just not the softest. Door pocket, good size, you're gonna be able to get two, German sized Bavarian pretzels in there and a couple containers of some German mustard to that spicy mustard to swallow it all down. You got your Bose sound system and then going from the door panel to the dash, the leather, the red stitching, the race text material, not only on the dash, but also the door panel. This is that microfiber suede material, information, technology, check it out. Your, your passenger has an over 10 inch tech package here with the instrumentation. They got a G meter. They could see what uh, mode you're in, your speed, all that great information. Plus they could pull up everything else. And like I said, you wanna see more detail to these two screens? Watch the video at the end of this one. Sliding across, guess what? We got another over 10 inch screen. Look at that. You go into your drive settings. We could go into our drive modes. I'm gonna leave it in Sport Plus but you could do individual. It shows the motors. It shows the suspension. I love stuff like that. Let me bring it back up one more time. It's just cool to see that great technology. We go into chassis setup. It just makes it feel like a Gran Turismo 
video game, even your electric sports sound, turn it off, turn it on. They specifically tuned it for the GTS, just so that you, you should know. And then also you go back to home, very easy to just swipe through whatever features you need. You could go into your climate control, charge the whole nine yards. Let me throw it in reverse. There's your backup camera, super clear with trajectory and that 360 camera design going on. And look, you could zoom in. I could count how many rocks are on the road. No, we did not make those marks, or maybe we did. I guess you'll never know. Put it back in the park, and we're right back where we started. Working our way down, you got your AC vents, AC controls, easy to get to. Heated seats, no ventilated seats. That's gonna be a zonk, but what's not a zonk is you could get information. No anxiety range, you can find out anytime. We got a storage underneath. What you do is keep your Mentos there, especially if you're picking up a hot date in this Guards Red Porsche. After you eat the Funyuns, pop a couple Mentos. It's the fresh maker from what I understand. I wouldn't know from experience, I don't really like Funyuns. But you do have two cup holders, the Tycon name to remind you what car you bought with the race text material. Open this bad boy up, what do we got? We got felt lining. You could easily put, I would say, four large five carat diamonds in there and they're not gonna get scratched so they keep their clarity. Talking about clarity, look at these seats. Clear as day, GTS embroidery, race techs, it's not Alcantara, race techs material, the stitching, the leather, the bolstering, 18 way positionable seats. Plus, on top of that, you're getting the five extra horsepower because we got the red seat belts. That's what it's all about. Alcantara, oop, nope, not Alcantara, race techs up top, give you that nice race car feel. Plus, you could pet it like a kitty cat. But why don't you get your butt over here? I want to show you behind this race techs covered steering wheel in our Taycan GTS. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. This is really where the heritage starts to come into play. You got that beautiful carbon fiber on the sill plate, the Taycan GTS name, Gran Turismo Sport. Looking good, lights up LED. And then check it out. Here is your Porsche key fob with that famous crest from Stuttgart, Germany. The buttons, easy to get to. Now, normally you would take this and put it in here, but what they did was to keep with the heritage, the tradition, they actually have the power on button in that same location. It's all because of the 24 hours of Le Mans and trying to help the drivers get off the line faster as they used to run to their cars, but we don't have a key. You got that power on button. What we do have, tons of headroom in here. You could put a helmet on, go do your track day. This could be your track vehicle and the vehicle that you actually take out onto the track. Seats, hold me like a mother holds a newborn baby. Steering wheel, spot on the money. Like I was saying, that race text material, looking great with the red contrast stitching, GTS logo, carbon fiber. You got your dry mode selector knob here, just like a Lama racer. They even hollow out the spokes, which is phenomenal. Electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then guess what? You got your instrumentation. And even though it's full digital, it feels like a Porsche. It's got a nice concave shape to it. You got your large speedo in the center. I could actually scroll through different information on the right there. Bring up your sport chrono clock, all the other information there. Really makes it simple. You could even go and adjust your suspension. We could do all of that very easy. I could raise it. Right now I'm raising it, the GTS. Now I'm lowering it again. So nice to have all that technology, all that setup, and you have the ability to turn on your lights and everything real simple. So you got two areas on here that are touchscreen, which is pretty cool, plus a gigantic, gigantic UFO size head up display. And I'm telling you, this steering wheel is perfect. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be all crunched up in this Sport Turismo. Hi guys, back seat time. And you know what, when you go Sport Turismo, whether it's a GTS or not, you're getting more room in the back seat, more headroom, overall room and the cargo room. But the great news is one piece race backs look so phenomenal back here. And I don't care that there's no pockets. You're not bringing any junk into my Porsche of any kind. You got your rear AC vents and the same digital controls as up front for the backseat passengers. 
You do have your little tray for some of those small uh, planters pretzels. Put those in the back, the kind that they give you on the airplane, because this thing flies like an airplane. But I got plenty of leg room. I feel really good. Of course, you're going to have an armrest, but the bad news is not enough arm room area. So I'm going to have to zonk that. But you know what? They did the rear seats just as sexy as the front seats. And of course, you get your extra five horsepower per red seatbelt. The only person that misses out is the person sitting in the middle. But oh well, let's go ahead. Let's check out the cargo area and see how this comes out on top of the Tesla. All right, guys, time to show that separator, that differentiator of this vehicle. When you hit the button, nice electric assist, and this is what makes it even more usable than the sedan. You are going to have over 40 cubic feet of space. Love the way the uh, cargo floor is nice and low. You got nooks on both sides for all the road snacks, and you got a 12 volt on the passenger side. But this really, like I said, if you're looking at Tesla, there's nothing like this in their lineup. But you know what? You've been waiting for it. I've been waiting to show you. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get electrified and go on throttle in our 2022 Taycan Sport Turismo GTS. All right, guys, we're in this 2022 Porsche Taycan Sport Turismo GTS. We got it in Sport Plus mode, and this is really, really an awesome experience being out here on Angels Crest Highway. This really showcases what Porsche is doing in the performance EV segment and why they are separating themselves from the competition. I do have that sport tune noise turned on and it really does give it a unique sound, but we gotta go on throttle. Coming to a dead stop. Are you ready? I'm ready. On throttle, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh my God! You can really feel that two-speed transmission kick in to the second gear. Holds a line so nicely. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we got the regen braking feeling good. I'm digging the sound though. Even though it's artificial, it's a great way. This is how we got to separate the different EVs, not only within Porsche, but also from the other brands. If each of them developed these different sounds, and like I said, this was done using the electric motors from the Taycan in a studio to really perfect the sound and to have the speakers out back as that pedestrian safety and to have the sound being pumped in here really gives you a unique situation. And then guess what? If you don't want it on, you can turn it off. But I'm telling you, wow. <laughs> Love the layout of the gauges. It really has that wonderful Porsche layout in here. Everything is easy to get to, but yes, it is complicated. There's some complicated parts here. One of those big complicated parts is adjusting the AC where you want the air to blow on your body. That takes some time and I don't recommend doing it on the twisty bits. But other than that, look at this thing. Here we go, wow. The grip level is ridiculous. All four corners, and you're getting all the torque from the turbo. All right, guys, once again, on throttle. <laughs> I tell you, it puts you right back in the seat. Look at this, holds a line so nicely. Nice. Woohoo! Look at this. There's that sound. Wow. <laughs> really, really great setup in here. All right, guys, once again, looking out for traffic. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle. <laughs> Love it. This makes EVs fun. 
This is an EV that I would own because it drives like a Porsche. I see the two peak fenders. It feels really, really planted. The steering wheel is spot on the money. Whoever is the genius doing the engineering with the steering rack, unbelievable the feedback. And this is no light vehicle. We're talking about 5,000 pounds, but because the battery is so low in the chassis, it helps lower that center of gravity. The regen braking, look at this. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Woohoo! This is awesome. It's no substitute for a 911 GT3. I'm going 911 GT3, but it's nice to see a brand like Porsche with so much history doing the business in the EV segment of the market and making it a true enthusiast car. And I don't care what a plaid Tesla does zero to 60 in or whatever, I really, really dig the setup on this Taycan and the great news is it gives you the power so long into the charge, which is wonderful as well. But just driving around so smooth, these seats hold you in nicely without being too aggressive. Visibility out the front is awesome. Out the back, it's a little tight because of that center headrest but look at this great feels good and you got a head-up display the size of a freaking whammo frisbee unbelievable <laughs> yes what did you say awesome all right guys it's been a mind-blowing day here in california i definitely want to thank the whole porsche usa team for inviting Rady's Rides to this media event. That meant that you were also invited as well for this Taycan Sport Turismo GTS. Let me know what you think. Is this the ultimate one to buy? If you're looking for an EV with performance that has heritage and usability, I don't know. I think many of you know which way I would be going if I wanted an EV, but put that in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rights family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She's out here in the middle of nowhere. We actually had a look for water in a cactus just to keep our bodies hydrated. So thank you, Lori, for doing that hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.